for all the people back on Earth, the crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. On Christmas Eve 1968, three American astronauts orbited the moon for the first time. Their broadcast to Earth reflected the awe and wonder of the moment. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. Throughout history, human beings have gazed into the heavens and encountered God. For galaxies, nebulas, planets, and stars convey a message that transcends the physical world. This created order, the moon and the stars, there's an intuitive sense in which God has clearly done this. He's chosen to create a universe as this backdrop that is constantly and continually at every time and place, day after day, night after night, testifying to his existence. The most effective way that God has of communicating with me next to the Bible is the world that he made and the beauty in the world that he made. It's elegant, it's mind-blowing. I think that the more we learn, the more complex things will be. And at the same time, I think we'll find underlying principles which will provide insight into the mind of the designer. We come to appreciate the majesty and the greatness of God who transcends the universe and is even greater than this cosmos that we see.